ओके सो नाउ दैट वी नो हाउ टू इनेबल आइंस्टीन हाउ टू इनेबल एजेंट फोर्स इन टू आर डेवलपर एडिशन और नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द स्टैंडर्ड एजेंट अवेलेबल इन टू दिस ऑर्ग राइट सो सेल्स फोर्स ऑलवेज प्रोवाइड्स वन स्टैंडर्ड एजेंट टू प्रैक्टिस राइट सो हेयर ऑल्सो वी हैव वन एजेंट फोर्स डिफॉल्ट एजेंट विच इज प्रोवाइडेड बाय सेल्स फोर्स सो ऑल द एजेंट ऑफ योर ऑर्ग विल कमिंग अप ओवर हेयर बट राइट नाउ वी ऑनली हैव वन एजेंट विच इज स्टैंडर्ड एजेंट फोर्स डिफॉल्ट एजेंट दैट इज कमिंग अप ओवर हेयर द टाइप ऑफ दिस एजेंट इज एम्प्लॉय सो लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग सो ऑल द एजेंट्स विच आर ऑफ टाइप एम्प्लॉय can only be deployed to your agent force uh, can only be deployed to your uh, deployed to your salesforce org they cannot be deployed to external websites or external channels or let's say the on to the community site they cannot be deployed to uh, over there right they are always meant to be on your salesforce org right like this so these particular uh, agents are always supposed to be useful for a, for the sales rep working on your salesforce org the internal salesforce employees right so when we say internal salesforce employees that doesn't mean that only salesforce uh, companies employees right so whatever company is using salesforce org only their employee can use this uh, agent of the type employee right okay so now let's discuss more about this standard agent available over here let's click on this agent force default agent and let's see how it appears so this is your agent detail page right and this agent detail page have some configuration have some tabs have some fields let's understand them one by one so first is the version what is the version of your agent just like the flow right this is open builder uh, once you click on this tab uh, this will open the agent builder for this particular agent right now we have api name type active right so these are some basic fields we have three tabs available on to this agent detail page because this is a standard agent we only have three tabs once you create your custom agent you will find some more tabs available over here so let's talk about the detail tab first uh, there is a name api name description an ai assistant for in org business task right so this is this agent is only supposed to perform in org business task right so let's suppose that uh, your sales rep is onto this page right or or any page right because this this agent force icon is a uh, is a global action which will be appearing over all the org right uh, like complete org in the complete org right so let's say uh, i'm a sales force uh, i'm a sales rep and i am on a call with a customer right now customer is asking me that uh, what what is the industry of his account right so instead of going to the account uh, of course customer will not ask about the industry but just for example so instead of going to the account tab finding the account searching for that field what i can do is i can just click on this agent force icon as a sales rep right i'll just type as uh, what is the industry of edge communication so let's see what it answers the industry of edge communication is electronics right so this is how the default the default agent works right this is why we say that this is only meant for the internal sales force employees so description now the role role is nothing but uh, it sets the boundaries of this particular agent uh, so if you are also working in a company there is a particular role assigned to you and you cannot work beyond that role right this, that that is that role is your responsibilities right so there is a field of role in our agent as well so these agents are only supposed to do that task right they cannot go beyond so this sets as a boundary right so this is what role means the job description of your agent explain its key task daily responsibility and how it interacts with customers right this is the company company information of this agent that uh, what is the company name and what is the product information everything now we have a checkbox as keep a record of conversations with enhanced event logs to review agent behavior right so this if you check this checkbox what will happen uh, so uh, what happens whenever uh, we start a chat with agent so the chat transcript gets created right so do you want that chat transcript or that event log to be uh, saved do you want to keep a record if yes then tick this uh, if not that leave it uh, as it is right 
so it says that enhanced event logs consumes data cloud credits what does that mean that you can not just enable uh, this uh, easily right you should have that data cloud credits because it will use those credits uh, as a charge right <laughs> created on created by last modified by okay now the second tab is system messages the system messages tab has two fields one is the welcome message another one is the error message welcome message is nothing but whenever you start a chat with agent what will be the first greeting message uh, sent by the agent right so here we have i hi i am agent force and ai assistant if you see uh, let me <coughs> You see the first welcome message uh, from this agent. Hi, I am Agent Force and AI Assistant, right? So this message can be configured from here, right? And this is the error message. So whenever your uh, agent goes into an any error or faces any issues, the, this message will be shown to the UI, to the customer or to the uh, employee, sales rep, right? Something went wrong, try again, correct? The third tab is language settings. <coughs> So it has again two fields the default language is english and what will be the tone tone will be casual so what does what does that tone means so whenever this this whenever you ask a question to the agent and agent will respond back right so what will be the tone of that respond whether it should be friendly tone whether it should be professional tone whether it should be uh, the casual tone right so here you can decide that right now <coughs> let's open this agent into agent builder let's click on this open builder i hope i'm able to explain you everything if not then you can always comment into the comment section now this is what your agent builder looks like correct so this agent builder has three section the first section is this which 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 do not have any specific name but we can say it as topic detail section or uh, configuration section anything right so it has some tabs available over here the same tabs which we have uh, seen into the previous detail page right so the topics the data library which you can add the context the languages see the default language is english and the tone is casual right you can edit that uh, tone from here you can have some languages selected here to there right and then the event log section right <clears throat> now okay so this is your first section this is your second section which is called as planning tab so planning tab always shows you that how your atlas reasoning engine is performing right so this section is completely dedicated to the atlas reasoning engine and the, the third tab is the third section is nothing but the conversation preview here you can test your agent before activating that right so let's say you have make you have made some changes into your uh, agent right and now you want to test whether that particular uh, edit uh, is working fine or not just like the flow right where, where we debug that flow right so here you can test your agent by asking some questions if it is giving correct answers let's activate this if it is not giving correct answers let's debug that right so this is your conversation preview so once you provide any prompt into this uh, chat box and what happens that prompt will go to that prompt to, will be executed by the uh, atlas reasoning engine and atlas reasoning engine will read and understand that particular prompt that what user wants to ask what user uh, has to say what user uh, what is the user's intent right everything will be considered and accordingly the atlas reasoning engine will pick one topic from here to answer the query right so whenever user gives any prompt that prompt will be answered using the, these topics right <coughs> So currently we have two topics assigned to this uh, standard agent, which is general CRM sing single record summary. Do not worry about what is topic, what is actions and what are the instructions as well. Uh, I'll definitely explain it once we create uh, the custom actions. <coughs> so for now, let's understand that. Uh, okay, let me give you give you an example. Let's ask uh, how many accounts are there in this org so i have given this uh, agent a prompt right this is a prompt right 
so the answer is there are 13 accounts right so between these two messages the first message is of mine how many accounts are there and the second message is the answer by the agent that there are 13 accounts between these two accounts there are multiple steps which has been executed by the atlas reasoning engine what are those steps let's see over here so first user has given the prompt right then after uh, then the atlas reasoning engine is selecting a topic uh between these available topics right so we have two available topics for this agent out of these two topics uh, the atlas reasoning engine has selected one topic and how this is selected so atlas reasoning engine what what do what does atlas reasoning engine atlas reasoning engine is supposed to do so that reasoning engine is supposed to get the intent of the user is supposed to get the question of the user and according to the, uh, by getting that question he will uh, like the engine will select one topic that this is the best topic which can answer the customer query right so the engine has selected general crm and into the general crm we have 15 instructions right so let's click on the general crm and you see here as the instruction section and we have 15 instructions available over here so the reasoning engine will go uh, through all the instructions one by one what are the instruction do not worry about this i'll definitely explain you for now just understand what happens exactly right there are 11 actions that is assigned to this topic right so if you see here are this topics action right once you click on this tab we have 11 actions available over here for this topic right so uh, the reasoning engine first selected this topic and then he has selected the the action that which action can better answer the user's prompt so we have asked how many right we are asking the number of account records so he has uh, the engine has executed query records with aggregate function right so it has uh, given the input to this particular action and output is in a json format the result is 13 right but uh, we cannot show the the json directly to the user right uh, that's why we have agent response uh, panel over here which which redefine the which redefine the the response coming from the reasoning engine right so this has redefined it and uh, it says that there are 13 accounts in this so this is how it works right so this is your configuration panel this is the where you will see topic details and the some data library context everything right and this is your atlas reasoning engine panel which is also called as planning panel here you will get planning id so every prompt has a panel id right so once you execute a prompt okay let's see <clears throat> first i have given this prompt this prompt is having this panel id the complete execution will be stored into this plan plan id right now let's give it again a prompt give me any random account let's see what happens so it has given all the all the accounts and it is asking me to select uh, one account let's see if i select this burlington textile corp and submit this it will give me the details of that particular account right you see account name burlington okay so it is giving me all the accounts once you click on view more you will get more accounts right now this button is not working i'm not sure why yes but when you click on this more view more it will give all the accounts right so this is how it works so this uh, again we, when we have given this uh, second prompt it again got assigned a planning id right so there is a plan different plan id for the first prompt there is a second different plan id for the second prompt right and again using that prompt give me an, a random account it has selected the topic at general crm we have two topics available over here he has selected the general crm again uh, he has executed all the instructions and actions selected one action available from these list of actions query records and again these are the agent responses everything uh, let's do one more prompt uh, summarize summarize the 
let's do edge communication summarize the edge communication record right so now again this particular uh, execution engine the atlas reasoning engine will select one of one topic from these uh, available topics right so this time it has selected single record summary topic why because we have asked it to do that right we have asked the summary of the record right and summary of the record can be provided by this product this topic not by this topic right so the reasoning engine has selected this topic and from this topic we only have one action available and we have five we have one instruction and five actions out of these five action it has selected summarize record action right if you click on this summary the single record summary you see we only have one instruction available over here and we have five actions so out of these five actions the execution engine has selected summarize record and again the input output and agent response right if you see it also got assigned the third planning id right so this is how how it happens this is what your planning panel is correct or this is your uh, how your agent builder looks like correct okay i hope it was clear